Hello, Zero K fans, and welcome to Nanaliza Dawn. I'm your host, Shadow Fury333, and starting out this exhibition match stream with a match between Orphelius and Snugglebase on Vitra, which is apparently a meta demonstration? I'm curious, let's find out. Orphelius going for the Hovercraft Factory, while Snugglebase is going for the Cloakybot Factory, and I think I can see where this is going, because we saw last week that there's a lot of daggers being used nowadays. A lot of it's Lamadeus. Lamadeus is a remarkable hover player, but let's see if it works with Orphelius. Orphelius is a strong player, too. I mean, I'm not sure if it's still a thing where it's a matter of the player or the matter of the factory, but Snugglebase and Orphelius are relatively equally matched, so we'll see how this goes. Cloakie has gotten a bit of a buff recently, but it's hard to say. It's always a tough thing when you're dealing with buffing something, whether you've buffed it enough. Like, it's always a bit easier to make strong things slightly weaker, because people will still use them and try to explore the hell out of them. But when you try to make weak things stronger, sometimes that doesn't get as well explored. And Cloakiebot Factory is probably fine, though. It's probably well enough explored. It shouldn't be a problem, but if there's an issue with the Hovercraft Factory, maybe other units in the Cloakiebot Factory, for instance... I mean, Spectres were suggested last week when we were ta when stuff was happening between Cloakie and, and Hover matchups. And that could work. Tix was another thing also suggested, which would work even better when you're dealing with daggers. I don't know if Snuggle Base is going to go for either of those, but they are going for quite a few glaze, and they are also expanding a bit faster. They have a slightly stronger economy out of the gate than Orphelius. Orphelius much more focused on the aggressive aspects, and I should point out that Vitra is still a map that doesn't really give vehicles a lot of room to maneuver. Like, this is the pathing map. They have these ramps from the main base, they have this ramp over here and they have to go all the way around the center and that's it there's quite a few oops, quite a few spots in the game in this map i should say that hovercraft cannot travel to so snuggle base does have that advantage they pretty much have this entire center section to themselves and they have way more mo ways to maneuver they have far more room to just put their units around and get their units to attack from various angles they just have so much more flexibility But, I, why am I getting... Oh. Anyway, sorry about that. I didn't realize Chobby could give me private messages that would show up on screen. I'm going to have to deal with that. But, for the time being, Snuggle Base is going for... Well, it looks like what might be the ending approach here. I mean, certainly Snuggle Base is trying. Orphelius has gotten a bit of a metal advantage in the meantime. Though, Snuggle Base, with... A healthy economy. Here's the thing. Snuggle Base has the energy they need to use the metal they currently have. They're using both. Orphelius is accessing and only has 12 energy, so they can't easily afford this stuff. But let's see how it starts out quite well for Snuggle Base, I might add. Orphelius could actually... Oh, man. Snuggle Base, you could just go up. You don't even have to go along with the daggers. You could have gone up the hill, because they got, if they went up the hill, the daggers wouldn't have stopped them. They would have wrecked the entire main base. That would have been it. Like, Snuggle Base just threw away the game right there, or at least made it a lot harder to get back in. They may not have thrown it away, but it is going to be a major problem to get back in this game. A mace has just been completed, or just about to be completed, and when that's done, yeah, that's that's it. Like, the Glaives are going to have a hell of a time trying to get back in here. And Orphelia is going for Halberd on top of that. Like, Orphelia is setting up a strong hovercraft composition, and Snuggle Base just threw away the one real push opportunity they had, but they don't have much else to deal with things. Like, they don't have anything but Glaives, and Halberds... Halberds can fall to Glaives, but Maces most certainly cannot. Maces will wreck them. Rockas would do fine, of course, and so would Spectres. Granted, Spectres are way more expensive. Rockas, for the cost, are a much more reasonable choice, but I don't see Snuggle Base going for that. They're going for Mass Glaive. I guess they don't expect Orphelius to go for the counter. I mean, they probably expect Orphelius is going to go for scalpels, and in which case, Glaives are still not a bad choice. You have to micro them remarkably well to avoid the scalpel splash damage, but that's fine. Maces, though, might not be what they're expecting, and that is going to be a bit of a problem. As we see Snugglebase already retreating from there. Most likely, though, because of the army, I think they might still go for this. Though. They might figure that they have enough Glaives that they can deal with the mace, despite the fact that maces are effective. I mean, the mace... A large part of its effectiveness is damage and health, but it doesn't splash. That is its main weakness, as no splash damage, so the Glaives could still get in there with enough of them and still destroy that mace. 
And we'll see, see exactly that happening now. Yeah, the mace is not quite as effective as I was playing it up to be. Still kind of scary, but when you're dealing with this many glaives... I mean, the thing is, is that 20 glaives to one mace... Like, that's the thing to bear in mind, is that... Even when it comes to, say, stronger riots, we'll say. For instance, the warrior or outlaw. I mean, outlaw is actually a bit of a weird case. Outlaws, I would say, don't bother. Wow, okay. We're feeling sorry to throw in the towel. That was unexpected. Snugglebase still got the game. They didn't quite throw in his, or go and attack as quickly as they could have, but they did the game. Yeah, I'm actually a bit surprised Orphelius didn't build any scalpels myself, because, as I was saying, that's more typical thing because of the splash damage and the range. But yeah, even against, say, warriors, like, one or two warriors against that many glaives, they'd have died. You'd need quite a few more. It's always a matter of four cost, and Snugglebase just decided, you know what, I've got enough glaives. I'll just go in, they're not going to get anything. Hovercraft, what do they have? Well, they have scalpels, which weren't built. Although even then, Glaze can kind of deal with them with the right micro. And they have maces, which you need a few of. Kind of like levelers in that regard, I suppose. Anyway, that was that. Oh, okay, Orphelius pointing out they were rusty. Oh, well, that's a thing, I suppose. That, that happens. I totally understand. Anyway, next game is going to be presumably a bit longer. It's going to be a match between Dying Friend and Snuggle Base. I think we're going to have a lot of Snuggle Base today. No, just the two, at least. Dying for an instant base on into battle, so stay tuned for that. It'll be up in a couple moments.